Hey everyone, J. Row Lights here, and I get a lot of comments from individuals wanting to know what my favorite Zippos are in my collection. So in this video, I wanted to share with you those favorite Zippos of mine. So stick around, this is J. Row Lights. For this video, I wanted to stick with Zippos that really excited me when I got them. Maybe they were extremely hard to find for me. Maybe they were expensive and I really didn't care how much I spent on them. But these Zippos that I'm about to show you, I think are a couple of my favorite that I have in my collection and hopefully inspire you when you're out in the wild looking for Zippos or finding those Zippos that really excite you. The first two Zippos I want to talk about have a story. And I think that's what collecting is all about, is finding those Zippos that have a story and really carrying those stories for a lifetime. I mean, that's what Zippo collecting is all about, in my, my opinion. This is a 1949 three-barrel. H.E. Bothell's the name on that one. This is a 1951 Gene Bothell appears to have been engraved in Japan. And what's crazy about these Zippos is I was able to find them. I was able to find Gene Bothell. Unfortunately, he had passed away in 2011. But what stood out to me was in his obituary, they had that his passions were being an umpire and also the time that he spent in Japan post-World War II. And I think that's incredible. This guy has the things that he's passionate, most passionate about engraved on a couple lighters. And 50 years later, those are listed in his obituary. Uh, so that's why I think when it comes to Zippos like these, these are my favorite to collect. These are my favorite to find. Even if it's just an engraving, I really enjoy just the history behind those Zippos. One of the best Zippos that Zippo ever thought of was doing a mosaic of the Barrett Smythe Mysteries of the Forest. I love this Zippo. Uh, these Zippos, they make a beautiful mosaic. You can see the tiger hidden in the woods. I think this is incredible for any collector to have. Zippo surprisingly hasn't really done any mosaics since this. Uh, there was a Berlin Wall mosaic, which I thought that was really cool, but it was exclusive to Europe. Uh, so very expensive to get it over here. But I think this Zippo is just incredible. I remember getting it in and I was ecstatic. Uh, this is one of the first big purchases that I made uh, 10 years ago. Uh, I think it was like $150 at the time. Now there are a lot more. As a new collector, getting this Zippo in, I I was on top of the world because it was by far one of the coolest Zippos that I've had in my collection. Going back to a couple collectibles of the year, I wanted to do these together. 2019 Moon Landing and the 2015 Full Circle. These Zippos, to me, are a couple of the best collectibles of the years out there. You have the 2015 Full Circle. And you have the 2019 Moon Landing 50th year. Just an incredible designs. A lot of thought went into these lighters. And you could see. And the market today really shows that as well. These are two of some of the most more modern day, most desirable Zippos out there. Both of them go for about 400 plus a piece. You might be able to find them cheaper, but they are very expensive. They are some amazing looking lighters. One style of lighter that doesn't get enough credit sometimes is the Slim. I'd be the first to admit that I don't prefer Slims, but I will say one of my favorite Zippos in my collection is a Slim. Really just because of the box it comes in. I love this style box. This is from Plainsville, Massachusetts. And I, I love this style box. One of my favorite style of boxes out there. But when it comes to slims, they do have some really neat designs. One of my favorite slim designs is the denim design. 
the individual who did ask that question and inspire this video, he collects denim slims. So this is kind of a shout out to him. Reason why Slims is in this video is because of this box here. I love this box when it comes to the history of Zippos. I talk a lot about this design style on this channel a lot, and that's the 540. I do love 540s. This one here is a visitor center only. You could only get this at the visitor center, and it's a beautiful Zippo. It's home for the holidays, limited to about 188. What's also special about this Zippo is this is the first Zippo that I bought in about five years. From 2015 to 2020, I didn't buy a single Zippo. I barely even looked at them. And I was just randomly scrolling on eBay one day and saw this beautiful Zippo. First 540 I've ever seen. So I picked it up. And this kind of got me back into Zippo collecting. Now a couple honorable mentions that I do have as my favorite Zippos is I have a 2003 Puzzle Zippo. This was on the front of the catalog in 2003. We have City Celebration. Pictures does not do this Zippo justice. This is a brass Zippo with a plate on it, but it's just, I love it. It sparkles, it shines. Rainbow Forest, just the, how the colors hit. Just depending on how that light shines on it, I really do love how this Zippo, just the color of this Zippo. And then also I do enjoy a good artist Zippo. This is a Steven Spazic Zippo, the first Steven Spazic Zippo that was released. Uh, Soaring Swallows, I believe, is the name of this. But I love any art that incorporates a Zippo. And the way he does it is he uses a Zippo and burns through paper to create images. And this was the first Steven Spazic Zippo, and it is 98 of 850. One of my favorites when it comes to those artist series. And last but not least, yes, I got to plug my own Zippo in this video. If you want your very own j Light Zippo, email me at jrolights at gmail.com. They are $35 a piece shipped anywhere in the U.S. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? What are your favorite Zippos in your collection? This is j Lights. We'll see you on the next one.